Hi, my name is Gabe Roberts. I am Director of Product Development at Cummins Valve Train Technologies. And in today's episode of Decoding Components, I'm gonna to talk to you about valve train technologies. A valve train is in the overhead of the engine and it controls how the engine breathes. The intake, the exhaust, the timing, duration, and lift of that is all the responsibility of the valve train. The valve train is important to maintain the efficiency of an engine. There are three main types of valve trains in commercial vehicles. Type three is where the camshaft pushes up on the rocker arm to open the valves. Type two is where the camshaft puts down on the rocker to open the valves. And type five is a cam and block, which uses a push tube to push on a rocker to open the valves. Another technology that's, that's common in commercial vehicle engines today is the engine brake. It is a technology that Klessy invented over 60 years ago. The engine brake is much different today than it was when Klessy invented it. Today, the engine brake, it's much more integrated. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's more performance, and it handles more load for today's diesel engines. As emission regulations globally continue to get tighter, there's technology that can be deployed into the valve train that can make it more efficient. The first is cylinder deactivation. So the remaining cylinders can run more thermodynamically efficient. The second technology is cam switching the ability to switch cam profiles on intake or exhaust. The third technology that we've been working on is cam phasing. This is the ability to infinitely adjust the intake and exhaust valve timing. And the fourth technology that we're working on is lashless. A hydraulic lash adjuster will remove lash from the engine. It's worth the hard work to put in the technology to improve the engine's efficiency to keep the internal combustion engine around for a longer period of time. All those same technologies are still applicable for diesel engines, but also for alternative fuels into the future. 